What's up everybody, it's Boy Z Man here to bring you part 44 of our Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red in the last part. We went after Zapdos and killed it because it won't let me catch any freaking legendary Pokemon in this run through. Apparently, catch every woman I want, but no, if it's a legendary, you don't get to catch it. Damn it. Alright, so we're out here in front of the Victory Road, and this time we're actually going to be heading in. First, though, I do want to throw on a Max Repel. Now, the thing is, the Pokemon in Victory Road are very strong. So this Max Repel isn't going to do crap. It's going to get rid of a few of the Pokemon we might run into, but for the most part, we're still going to run into a lot of Pokemon. Now, the Pokemon in Victory Road include Onix, Geodude, Zubat, Arbok, Arbok in the Fire Red version, and Sand Slash in the Leaf Green version. Uh, Golbat, Machoke, and Marowak, and that's just on this floor. There is one floor up. This Pokemon becomes stronger, plus you also have to fight Primeape. So, although I have Max Repel on, the Pokemon in this uh, area go up to level 46 on this floor. They go up to level 48 on the next floor. And here's our first encounter. This is Onix, level 46. Of course, knows does not know any moves. I don't know what moves it knows. But it is a rock ground type, and it's a very weak special special attack. So Shazam's going to have no problem taking this thing down. Gain some experience points. Shazam's going to get a lot of points. The only reason he's out there is because uh, strong special attack. Most of the Pokemon in this area are weak to special attack moves. Alright, got to remember how this ball puzzle works. I want to push it over, up, up, over... Ah, I was about to finish the ball puzzle game. You have to ruin it with an Onix. These things are weak. Onix was always like the coolest Pokemon. When Brock threw that thing out, like, holy crap, that's a freaking massive Pokemon. It's probably the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, think about it. The first time you saw Onix, and what episode would that have been? Like, one of the first ten episodes, it was like the biggest Pokemon you've ever seen in your life. Alright, once you push the ball on that switch, a new path will open up, which we won't be able to get to, because you know what? We're going to fight another freaking Onyx! Come on, Shazam, let's take this thing out by psychicking it. Eventually, I'll get Shazam up to level 46, just, just on random encounters alone. There's also quite a few items here in Victory Road that you can grab. Uh, we'll be grabbing as many of those as I can find. Don't... Oh, that's right, there's a freaking girl here. I wonder if you're good enough for me. Oh, baby, I'm good enough. You don't even know. Alright, so this is our first battle... No, pool trainer. Battle girl. Battle girls are uh, over on... Most of them are on the Seven Islands. Her first Pokemon is her Persian. So... I'm gonna switch. Why? Because Albert has a fighting type move, and fighting type moves are strong against normal type Pokemon, and Albert needs quite a bit of experience if he wants to catch up to a few of the Pokemon. Brick Break! Thank goodness for that Quick Claw. Albert needs that thing. <laughs> Critical hit on the Brick Break, Persian goes down, Shazam gets some experience points, and grows to level 41, as does Senior Albert. Here comes his next Pokemon, Ponyta. Ponyta will go down. Dude, I'll let Bolt take one. Bolt, uh, I just recently leveled it up on the way back to the, uh, on the way back here to the Victory Road, so he's going to get a few more experience points here in this Victory Road. He's only level 39 as well. So we'll take down the Ponyta with a couple of, oh no, not agility. Her speed just went up two levels, which means it's going to be faster. And he knows takedown, don't kill by Bolt. Good, all right. One more Thunderbolt will definitely take care of this Ponyta. And when I say definitely, I mean it. Definitely. Without a doubt. Ponyta goes down. Bolt gets plenty of experience. Wow, that's a lot. Here comes Rapidash. Rapidash, I do not want to... Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to have to use Nessie on this one. I can't afford to let Bolt or Albert take another couple hits. I'll just let Nessie take this one down right away. As long as I can get off my move first, which I didn't, but still... Nessie's not that fast. It did use Stomp. Stomp doesn't have a chance of making you flinch. Stop flinching, Nessie. Thank you. 
Heat Stomp. Stomp, Bite, Crunch, all those. Dark type move. I don't, actually, I don't think Stomp is a dark type move. I don't know. Here comes a Vulpix. I'm going to change Pokemon. Let's let Sue take care of this one. Vulpix is one of the cutest Pokemon in the world. Uh, fire type. It evolves into Ninetales, which is just a giant. I, there's some sort of um, legend behind these Pokemon, like real life. There's something about the Ninetailed Fox and the. Uh, what is this? This one's Seven Tails? You and your Hyper Potion, you stack of cool trainer crap. Alright, Sue is an Aerial Ace. Take her most of the way down. One more Aerial Ace will take out the Vulpix. Go down. Sue will gain some experience points. Here comes Nine Tails. I'm gonna have to change Pokemon here. I'll let Shazam take care of one. Oh, that was a terrible idea. I think that Nine Tails might be part of Psychic type. It'd be a Psychic Fire. But this is Nine Tails. Nine Tails. It does have quite a few legends about it, uh, both in the Pokemon world, and I know there's something, something about it in the real world. I'm not sure what it is though. That's the thing. I kind of probably could have looked that up, but I didn't think about it. I didn't. I didn't think about this cool trainer having herself a Nine Tails. But Nine Tails is one of the more interesting Pokemon in the Pokemon world. It's not necessarily strong in terms of battling, but it, it's a cool Pokemon. All right, so we took out Cool Trainer. Let's go head over here and work out this ball puzzle, which unfortunately we can only get one item. However, on one of these rocks, there should be an item. Yes, there's the full restore on the rock. All right. Which item do I want? I'm not sure which item is which, but let's go ahead and... I'm going to grab this top item first. TMO2 Dragon Claw, which means the other one is an Ultra Ball. No, not an Ultra Ball. What is it? The other one was a Rare Candy! I missed my chance. Oh, I could leave and come back and get that item. Well, so you know, that's a Rare Candy. You can leave and the ball puzzle will reset, so you can go still grab that item, but... Uh, no real reason for me to do that right now. Shazam! Kill the Onyx, please. Kill the Onyx. Kill the Onyx. I'm gonna... I should have bought some blisters. I just thought of that. Oh, well. Take down the Onyx. Shazam gained some experience points. Beautiful. Alright, let's head down. Now, over here... Should be an Ultra Ball. That was the Ultra Ball I was thinking of. I knew there was something here. Uh, I hate you, Onyx. I hate you, Onyx. You're becoming the new Zubat, I swear. Psychic! And you're dead. Beautiful. Alright. Shazam will gain some more experience points. And done. Alright, so this ball puzzle, this isn't even a ball puzzle. You just push that out of the way and you have a quicker access to the exit. I hate this. Why do you have to become a Zubat, Onyx? You're so annoying. <laughs> I hate caves and dungeons and all that crap. I'm running out of psychic moves, too. I'm running out. I don't have much PP left. That sucks. Alright. There's our next battle. We don't have to fight him, but I forgot he was up there. So here we go, our second battle with the Cool Trainer. This guy is Cool Trainer Ronaldo. That's not even Ronaldo, that's Rolna, Rol, Rolando. Why can't you have a normal name? Seriously. Jeez. Alright, here comes Shazam. Shazam. Alright. Send out Albert, because of course Raticate is a normal type Pokemon. Albert with his not Super Fang. Oh, I hate Super Fang. Super Fang automatically does half of your damage in one hit. So, while it's not very strong later on in battle, if he does it right away, you're already at half health. You're screwed right there. Oh my goodness. Super Fang's not a terrible move. Um, it's only useful for one hit, though. That's the thing. Alright, so Albert's going to gain some experience points. Shazam is going to gain some experience points. Here comes Ivysaur. Perfect time to get in Fuego some training. Go on Fuego. Alright. Come on out, Ivysaur. I want you. You and me, we're gonna be best friends, me and my flamethrower and you. 
Obviously, Ivysaur's grass type moves would do absolutely nothing to Fuego, considering Fuego is both fire and flying type. Grass type doesn't really have much of a chance. I'll tell you that much right now. Alright, Fuego gains some experience points. Here comes War Turtle. Yes, I will switch. Bolt needs some experience. Although I believe War Turtle probably does have quite a bit of special defense. As long as it doesn't know bite. Please don't no bite. Please don't get it off first. Perfect. Alright, Thunderbolt will definitely do quite a bit of damage to War Turtle. Kill it! Oh, it was close. I was really close. Here comes a water gun. We'll do normal damage. Probably not too much. Quick attack it. Oh, I forgot that you have a hyper potion, you stupid Rolando. Nobody likes you, Rolando. Weird name. Alright. Hopefully that'll be enough to let this Thunderbolt kill. Please kill a Thunderbolt. Please kill a Thunderbolt. Please. Please. Good. Alright, so you take out the War Turtle. His next Pokemon, it looks like, is Charmeleon. Which means that I want... Uh, we'll let Nessie take care of one here. Who says Nessie doesn't need a little bit of experience? She needs to fight too. It's okay. Alright, here comes Charmeleon. The one uh, evolution of Charmander I don't like. Hey, Charmeleon, I don't know what it is. I just don't like him. He's a jerk. At least Charizard with BA. I mean, being a dick to Ash, but Charmeleon was just flat out a dick. Oh my goodness, he's got a Charizard. Oh jeez, I don't like this. Oh no. That's that that's a Charizard. Guy's got a Charizard, he's gonna use Flamethrower, which is going to do normal damage, considering that he's part Ice type. Let's go ahead and surf this thing into submission, though. I hope it kills. I didn't kill! I don't like this. Here comes another Flamethrower, which will probably kill Nessie. That'd be a bad thing. Alright, so Nessie's dead. Next Pokémon I should use is Bolt. I really... I'm assuming Bolt is faster. Bolt is my second fastest Pokemon at this point. And one Thunderbolt should take out a Charizard, since it is super effective and all. Come on. Good, Bolt. Good job. Wow. Alright, we take out the Charizard. Bolt will gain some experience points. Grow to level 40. And that's that. Took out the Charizard. And defeated Cool Trainer Rolando. Ah, uh, you had no chance, my friend. Give me money. Alright, I'm gonna go heal some Pokemon, and be right back, because I really need to heal Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, you can only grab one item each, but since I did leave to go heal my Pokemon, I can now show you that this is in fact one rare candy that you can use. Um, so let's get over by that ladder, and I'm thinking I'm probably just going to go ahead and end the part right here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut out most of these battles or not. I mean, they're not exactly exciting to watch, but, you know, the, the psychics move and then the onyx goes down, you know? It's very nice. I should probably just use a crap ton of rare candies on, like, Shazam or... I could do that, and I would cut out a lot of the battles. I'm thinking about doing that. Alright, but, yep, there's the... the ladder to get out of here. Ooh, new Pokemon, Arbok. Huh, good thing I have Shazam out in front, because Shazam is super effective. Poor Arbok, you're so screwed. You, you, you shouldn't have even popped up. Just get out of here. Good job. And a critical hit. Yeah, that's called overkill. Alright, Arbok goes down. Shazam gains experience points. He's almost level 43. So we'll head up that ladder in the next part. Thank you all very much for watching, guys. I'll see all of you guys next time.